Now you remember that prior to our previous race, Classic Falcon was the favourite, and William Haggis, of course, trains her, and she flipped over onto her back behind the stalls. Um, William actually didn't see the incident, so we're going to show it to him now live. You'll have seen it a couple of times. If you were watching earlier closely, you'd have seen it a couple of times. Um, if you keep your eye on the right-hand side of the screen there, William, you'll see her Ooh. suddenly come into shot, land with a bit of a thump, and then you'll be able to see in real time, after she's shaken herself up, how she's just given a sort of a walk up and walk back a few times. Now, I've heard that you were called by the stewards to um, talk about about the incident. What happened from your point of view from, from then when you were called in? Well, I didn't know of the incident, Lydia. All I know is that she has temperament issues, had ha has had them in the past, and since the application of a hood has been fine. Um, you know, being I, yeah, I think it's difficult from my point of view. I have to leave that decision to the expertise of the vet and to my jockey. And I think she was she has to go to post early. And um, you know she was tricky going to post. And Adam thought she was bored stiff down there, been there too long, and got herself worked up into a frenzy. She did this at Lingfield before she ran first time out this year. She flipped over backwards in the saddling boxes and was withdrawn. And and as I say, since the hood, she's she's been a lot better, but today was no good. And I haven't been with her since um, since she uh, started winning, and this is the first time I have. I rather regretted it. Mm -hmm. Don't like them when they jump around. But uh, my, my first reaction was that she didn't want to race today. Mm. She, at no stage did she pick up the bridle, uh, and that could easily be her temperament. Indeed, I emailed uh, the owner's racing manager so, or, or texted him to say, I think we should call it a day. Um, I, I have no real reason to change my mind yet. I think she's done her stuff. She's not going to be stakes class, obviously. And uh, we need to move on and, and, and get better ones. But uh, obviously we'll see how she is. And, uh, you know, if she doesn't eat up for a few days, then, then we'll start getting concerned. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, when you're standing in the stands, not even watching a, that incident on the telly, it's very hard for me to make a decision. You have to leave it to the, to the people who are down there and who know what they're doing. And from what you've seen there, uh, do you feel that they made the right decision? <laughs> well, that's a leading question, of course. You have it wasn't to leading at all. It's a very open it question. The way she ran. Um, I think um, you, you have to respect and honour their decision, and that's it. So whether it's right or wrong, it's too late now. Anyway, it's history. And would you prefer a sort of blanket rule where if something like that happens... I'm not a big rules person, uh, Lydia. <laughs> I think that we've got too many rules, both on and off the race course. Uh, in life as well and I think uh, just need to leave it to the experts the starter was there the vet was there my jockey was there between them they decided it was the right thing to run as it turned out she didn't run I'm very sorry for the people that backed her I hope she's all right she seemed fine afterwards um, and if she's really sore then we'll let everyone know but as far as I'm concerned it, it's all mixed in there's there's quite a bit of temperament there okay now, I'm not just coming from a punter's angle just in sort of from the outside of people looking at racing trotting a horse up and down what well, twice that has reared over backwards can you really be confident that that she hasn't done herself damage in some kind of way you do do you, do you, you know it, it's a difficult one is it their decision to just w everything that rears over I mean I had one sit down in the stalls in the hunt cup a few years ago just sat down and it was withdrawn I was absolutely livid because the horse got straight back up but because he sat down it brought him out of the stalls he was fine and he never ran and I was really angry because I thought but that was the rule and very often people in authority can hide behind a rule and, and that's it and that shouldn't be the case there should be much more uh, opportunity for and this is a general thing at stewards as well rather than tied behind the rules to make the decision they feel is right in that circumstance and they made that decision and good luck to them and and i'm sorry that she didn't win and she didn't run a proper race but what can we do? Okay. Just get stuck in the M on the M25 going home. <laughs> Thanks for your thoughts on that. As I've got you here, I must ask you about Guarantee. All well, looking for the St. Ledger on yeah, Saturday? He, he's great. I don't think it's going to make any difference. But if you look at my horses today, every single one has drawn the widest barrier. And Guarantee got nine of nine. Um, so I think somebody up there is telling me something. But he's very well. He'd have enjoyed the rain that came yesterday. Um, you know, look, he, he's, he's an improving young horse, but my God, he's got another huge mountain to climb. But, uh, you know, he's, he's really going the right way. He's on good terms with himself. And 
you know, if, you, if you're not in, you can't win. William, thanks very much for talking to us and good luck on Saturday. Pleasure, Lydia. Thank you. Thank you.